Uh, Calhoun County is a community that is rural, uh, limited resources, uh, that's a high degree of, of poverty, the per capita income is very low, and uh, expectations uh, among uh, people that grow up in that community are often not very high. We have a lot of struggles here, but this program has been a highlight of what can be done. You know, we, we do a lot with a little all the time. Being in a small town, you don't really hear about many community service projects being done, you know, for the people. And going to the city, being involved in the city of the project has shown me that there's so much more than just being here. There's so many more stories than what we think there are. There are a lot of people, a lot of individuals, organizations, partners, um, locally, regionally, and statewide that have been a part of this process and a, and a part of supporting this effort. This was a very, very interesting uh, project because it, it helped students, uh, the high school students, really develop their communication skills uh, in terms of being able to record uh, information that they, uh, the stories that they uh, were able to gather from the, the seniors, uh, and of course uh, they they were able to turn that into a book. These kids have written three books already. And we, th this year we'll complete and we will have our fourth printed um, this spring. The great thing about these youth is they give up their time. When they are out of school and all the other kids are sleeping in, they get up, get dressed, and they come down here to be a part of this project, which says a lot. They're not getting out of school to do this. Combining their stories together, I made somewhat of a mental picture or a mental story in my mind of the seniors and <clears throat> I use that on a day-to-day -day basis to remind me of what I can do to help our community and to help um, the people around me. This program should be in many other schools, not just Calhoun County, but all over the state of Georgia, maybe all across the nation. Think about the lives you can impact. You've impacted my life. And I feel like I want to impact other people's lives. I want them to have the same positive aspect of life that I have through this program. We have to thank Congressman Sanford Bishop's office and, and him in particular. Uh, when we had this dream five years ago, uh, he was the one that pushed it through his office and into the federal hands and uh, convinced them to let us try this. One of the things that we really believed in was being able to equip these students for life after high school. Um, we wanted to be sure that they had the tools that they can use now and in their future as they go on to, to uh, further their education. We've been able for, to get them to reach inside themselves and find their potential, to come out a little bit, to be a little more trusting, to actually see that they have talents that they, they didn't know they had. Um, and we're excited about that. Anytime that we can make a child look within themselves to find something that inspires them to do better and to reach their potential, it's a blessing. Well, to have uh, a project like this and have a commitment to the seniors uh, and for them to be able to follow that commitment after school on their own time uh, really kept them occupied, out of trouble, and doing something constructive and something that uh, in the long run will be meaningful to them throughout their lives. We have guys that are 17, 16, 17 years old that's at the prison, so I know how it can be when you take the wrong path. So I guess with that, what we try and do is try and develop a sense of value, you know, in our kids. Without this program, they still had people in their life that was encouraged them, but I think this encouraged them more because they see the, they see what's going on and all they heard from other people was just to talk. But without this program, I think that nine times out of ten, they might would have been still getting in trouble. We are hopeful that through our data and what we've shown that these children have done here in this small county, that we will be able to secure additional funding sometime in the future, that we can continue some kind of relationship with the senior citizens. Um, here in Calhoun County because it is an untapped resource and so many times they're overlooked and um, it's just been a joy for them, for the youth and especially for all of us who've been a part of this effort. 
Well, she always told me to be kind. And I learned to be kind. And I learned to change my attitude to not please others, but, you know, make others feel comfortable around you. She was, when I thought of her, she was like a, a grandmother to me because she was always gentle and sweet. She never, you know, she always lifted up. She never said negative things about it, even though you was wrong. She, you know, she'll give you positive advice and she was she was just always nice. One more thing in this program, you've seen people, you started the program, you started with people, and then you come home and, and you find out that one is no longer with you. But that's a part of life. And you got to understand that. It's all a part of life and it's fine. But you enjoy the moments and memories and you cherish them. And we grow with them. Someone said that you make your living by what you get. You make your life by what you give. And the people of Family Connections, the Family Connections Collaborative, all of the partners in it, including the young people, really have made a life for Calhoun County. And I predict that uh, when this is replicated, uh, this model will make a life for people throughout Georgia and throughout the country. Even though the Calhoun County Family Connection Senior Citizen Youth Project has ended, our desire as a collaborative and as a community has not ended and will not end in our fight and in our struggles to help our youth in any way we can. We live in a small county with few resources. Any time that there's an opportunity for us to lift a child up, we do and we will and we're committed to that as we continue to look for other ways to show our youth that we care and somehow involve them in this community and let them know that we are all in this together. You know you'll always be number one and I know you'll always make good choices because that's the type of person you are. You have a good heart and just know that I always love you. I love you and I'm very proud of you. Because you've always been there to move care of, right? And I could just truly tell you that I love you and I'm proud of you. I love you too, LaShondra. I love you too, LaShondra. <laughs> I love y'all too. <laughs>